Hello friends, welcome back to my channel and today in this video we'll again study about kin discrimination and associative learning with another example. So in this video we'll study by taking the example of buildings ground squirrel. Now the newborn of building ground squirrel they are divided into four groups. One group is the siblings that are reared or raised apart. The second group consists of siblings that are reared or raised together. Third group consists of non-siblings that are reared apart and the fourth group consists of non-siblings that are reared or raised together. So in this four groups the experiment was conducted. Now after they are grown up or become sexually mature now they are placed in pairs to see their interaction now what observation has been made from this experiment it is whether or not the squirrels are siblings now this group these are siblings those who are raised together and this gray and blue these are non-siblings those who are reared together so whether or not they are siblings or non-siblings if they were raised together they treated each other very nicely now coming to the siblings as well as the non-siblings those who are reared apart so this blue these are the siblings those who are reared apart and this yellow and green are the non-siblings those were reared apart so whether or not they are siblings or non-siblings if they were reared apart they treated each other aggressively that means those who are treated together or reared together because they were reared together whether or not they were siblings so the phenomenon of associative learning worked in them they learned that they are family members because they remain associated during their childhood or when they are babies in case of siblings or non-siblings those who are reared apart they treated aggressively because they did not remain associated when they were babies and hence they treated each other as strangers now again one more observation was made and that is when the siblings were reared apart they treated each other aggressively but the aggression is less compared to when the non-siblings were reared apart. So that means when the siblings are reared apart, after they are grown up now, they treated each other aggressively, but the aggression is less compared to the aggression between non-siblings. That means apart from environment, genes also play a role, which we are learning from last few videos. Now, from such observation, the researchers or the scientists Warren Holman and Paul Sherman, they termed such kin discrimination as phenotype matching. That means how this squirrel in case of siblings and for example, this squirrel in case of non-siblings, they know that the other one is its family member through a particular phenotype. either through body order or through color or voice but with some phenotype because from the beginning they are surrounded with such phenotype they associated that the members of such phenotypes are its sibling so the, such type of kin discrimination which is based on some of the phenotype like body order color or voice so warren holman and paul sherman named such kin discrimination as phenotype matching so this proved that how animals discriminate other animals which is known as kin discrimination and what do we mean by associative learning now one question from my end for you all that is why siblings reared apart showed less aggressive behavior than non-siblings reared apart. Do let me know in the comment section. If you found the video informative, please do like, share and subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon for the next video notification. Till then, stay safe, stay happy.